What's up, everybody? Here we are again. We got ourselves a beer right here. Look at that. Check it out. And I've already done this beer before, but I did a a uh, different one. This is a lager. And today we have... I need glasses. Bam. See how fast that was? Uh, 19 crimes... Anyways, uh, wait. There's a colonial style lager. Lager, lager, lager. Uh, I still can't read this. It's, I still can't read. I got horrible eyeballage. 5% alcohol. Yeah, it says right on the front of the can. Duh. Colonial style lager. And I did another one of, of theirs and I liked it. And so now we're going to try this one. So, um, but before we do that, listen to this. Martin Sheen's real name is Raymond Antonio Geraldo Estevez. His son, Emilio Estevez, also went on to become an actor. One of his other sons, Carlos Estevez, is also known as actor, better known as Charlie Sheen. All right, now, let's do some cracking. Get some cracking going on. Yeah, hey. Don't be puking out of the can. All right, all right, looks light. Light and airy. I'm gonna talk about something, if I, if I can. Uh, you, you grew up talking about your parents always telling you, don't talk to strangers, don't get in their cars, don't go into their houses, don't talk to, no, I already said don't talk to strangers. Yeah, uh, it, it, Don't let anybody check your, her, your hernia, you know, all that stuff growing up. But what do they do now? They, it, they got Uber. You get in their car, you got Lyft, you get in this, you know this guy's car that he could he could be a killer he could be a murderer I mean it's like a taxi you're getting in a stranger's car and then they got these you know Airbnb you're staying at somebody's house they could be an axe murderer then they have uh, the app called cat couch surfing it, it, it could be a killer you're sleeping on their couch then they have the one it's I think it's called snuggles or something where you hire somebody to come over to snuggle with you you tell me there ain't gonna be sexual assault going on there? Yeah. Anyways, slightly hazy. Yeah, you can see that. Not bad. It looks a little different from uh, the camera. It looks different on the camera than it does here. It looks more like a lemonade. No. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. It smells like a. Uh... Get that on my lip. It's gross. Um. With a, almost like a, a summer ale. Let's try it out. Shut up. No, it's not a summer ale. It has a it has a darker flavor. I like the other 19 crimes better. And then you were to cut 19 crimes from. It was actually if you were convicted of one of 19 crimes, you were sentenced to Australia, where everybody had to basically fend for, fend for themselves. It was a lawless continent. And the criminals sent there basically had to put in a government and everything by themselves. There you go. But this has a, a flavor, like a dark flavor, but it's a light beer. Not a dark flavor, it's just like like a licorice, like a black licorice bite. That's what I'm. That's what I'm gonna start saying. This has certain beers when they have this bite. I don't. It, it's okay. I could drink a six pack of these. That'd be fine. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't buy another six pack. And if you had these over your house and had a choice between Bush and this and uh, you know, Bush Light or whatever, I would drink Bush Light and and I wouldn't drink this. I, would, uh, and I might steal something out of your medicine cabinet while I do that. his payment as offering me this beer. Um, it's slightly bubbled, not, not, not too much, but the bubbles are kind of small going down slow. I got a craggly head on it, so ah, not bad. So watch this real quick. Actor Jim Cabazio was struck by lightning while portraying Jesus in a Passion of the Christ. So, you like my table? Check it out. I made this table. 
out of uh, just a piece of oak I bought. I was going to do a floor like this, but I was like, it would cost immensely expensive. So the, the legs I didn't do. So anyway, check it out. I made that um, end grained oak, and then I put this little finished piece, and I, I made the sides for it and everything. The legs came as a kit. Man, I got the date on there. 2015, December 2015. It's a nice little table. I put my I put my record player on it. So there you go, folks. That's another beer. And what would I rate this? What would I rate this? On a scale of one to ten, I'd give it a I'd give it a six. I wouldn't have it every day. Seven would be like an everyday beer for me. I, I'd do it a six. It's it's okay, but it's not my flavor. I don't care about it. So there you go and I think that's about it folks so hopefully you're doing okay and remember drink responsibly